Hello everybody, today we have a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 from Sprint. We've flashed this over to uh, Verizon Prepaid and we're going to show you how to set up MMS and uh, YouTube and streaming multimedia on this device. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our apps and we'll go to our Play Store and we want to download the app SMS Pro. We'll click that in there and search for it. And you'll see it's the top one that comes up. It's a free app. Go ahead and click that and click on install, accept and download. And so now it's going to download. You can pull down that information bar. And you can see that it's downloading right here. And now it's installed, so we'll go ahead and click open. And once you open up the program, you can just scroll over to the right there and eventually you'll get to this screen and it wants you to sign up for services just click the X and X out of that now it's going to give you some tips on the screen it wants you to slide the screen around just go ahead and do whatever it wants you to do and get rid of it so now we're in uh, the go SMS screen and you'll see at the top if you're in the messages section which is where it'll by default put you you'll notice you can you can scroll to different screens here but by default you should be in messages if you're not just scroll over to that screen and then over on the left hand side you'll see this little box at the top just click on that and it's going to pull up this little me uh, menu go ahead and click on settings there and then at the top you're going to have two tabs you're going to have basic and advanced go ahead and click on advanced and then scroll down now you'll see MMS settings we're going to go ahead and click that now you can scroll up, or I'm sorry, scroll down, and you'll see uh, APN configuration here, and it says fill APN configuration manually. That's what we want to do, so we'll check that. And now we have a couple of options down at the bottom, MMSC and MMS proxy and MMS port. So the first thing we want to fill out is the MMSC, which is going to be the URL uh, that we use for picture messaging. So we'll click on that, it's going to open up this box, and now we want to enter in the URL, which we would have provided to you when we did the flash. However, uh, it's going to be similar to this one. So it's HTTP, and symbols, mms.vtex. dot com servlets and you just have to watch that it doesn't put spaces in and it doesn't put extra uh, letters in because it, sometimes it'll want to try to auto correct what you're writing you have to look out for that okay so MMS and then we need the question mark right there and then we want a capital X. And if you're looking at that URL that we left you, you'll notice that there's capital letters. You want to make sure that you capitalize the letters that are capitalized because this is case sensitive. And then it's going to be VZW, all uppercase. And then M. D N and then equals and then the phone number. So now this URL is always constant. The http colon slash slash MMS dot vtex dot com slash servlets slash MMS blah 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 equals and then you're going to put in your phone number 
right after that. So whatever your phone number is, that's what you will enter there. Then you'll hit OK. And then you'll go down to MMS port, and you're going to put in 80 and click OK. Now you'll click the back button, and you'll be back on the messages screen. You can go ahead and compose a picture message, and that will work. Now, in order to set up streaming video and YouTube on this phone, we'll go ahead and click on the phone button and we'll enter in pound pound three two eight two pound and you, the data programming screen is going to come up we'll go ahead and click on edit here and it's going to ask you to enter your MSL now if we flashed your phone your MSL is already going to be preset to zero 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 so that's six zeros and then hit OK now your data programming screen will be displayed and we can go down and click on others uh, now you're going to have uh, quite a few options come up. The very first thing we want to do is we want to click on multimedia. And now your multimedia settings are going to come up. You're going to change your RTSP proxy address to 0.0.0.0. .0 I already changed it here. And then you go ahead and click OK. And then you'll, you'll uh, change your proxy port to 0. So we'll go ahead and erase that. We'll click on 0. And then we'll hit OK. And then we will click on the uh, HTTPPD proxy address. We're going to make that all zeros as well. So we'll backspace and erase everything. And then that's going to be 0, .0, .0, 0. We'll click OK. And then that proxy port as well, we're going to make that 0. Hit OK. Now we'll hit the back button at the bottom of the phone. And you can just check that those settings took by clicking multimedia again. You'll see everything is zeroed out the back button, hit the back button again till you're at the home screen. And then we can hit that home button there. I guess back didn't go all the way to the home screen. Okay, so now we're at the home screen. Simply reboot your phone and when it boots back up, MMS, YouTube, and streaming video are going to work perfect for you. Again, this is flashphones.net. If you have any questions, you can uh, email us at flashphones.net at gmail.com or you can go to our website, www.flashphones.net. You can click on the Contact Us page and you can send us a message there or you, our phone number is listed there and alternatively our ICQ chat is also there. So that's it. As always, keep flashing.